From the home screen, you're free to navigate all of your installed streaming apps and tiles. You can reposition them however you want. You could remove them. You can add additional channels. Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Roku Ultra, specifically the 2022 version. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Now let's go ahead and open it up and set it up. All right, it's time for a quick viewer intervention. Yes, I'm talking to you. No, don't look away. I'm talking to you right now. In the last 28 days, almost 40,000 of you have viewed the TV Chef channel, but only 98 of you have become a subscriber. So would you please consider clicking that subscribe button. Bonus points if you like, comment, and share our videos as well. If you don't like our videos, please give it a thumbs down, click that dislike button, and tell us why in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you either way. Also, bonus points for you if you wanna share it with an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, a strange sibling, spouse, you get the idea. We'd be grateful for that as well. So the first thing we need to do is connect a couple of cables to our Roku Ultra and to our TV. So the first cable we have is our HDMI cable. One end is going to plug directly into the HDMI slot on the back of your Roku Ultra, just like we have it right there. The other end you're going to plug into your TV and pay attention to which HDMI input you use. Next, we also have to connect our power supply. So we have our barrel connector here. This end's gonna plug right in, and this end's gonna plug into a wall outlet. At this stage, if you want to connect an Ethernet cable for a hard wire connection, go ahead and do that now. And you could also connect your USB device here. You can do both of those later if you want, but now's a good time before you get everything tucked away. Plug this into the wall, plug this into the TV, and let's continue on with our setup. After everything's plugged in and powered on, this is the first screen you're gonna be at where you need to pair your remote control by pressing the button on the back for five seconds. So we're holding it down right now until we see that green light. So there we go, we have the green light and it's pairing the remote. All right, didn't take more than a couple of seconds and now we're on our getting started screen where you can choose from a couple different languages. So in this case, we're gonna select English. We can choose a wired or wireless setup. If you do have a wired connection, I highly recommend doing that. That's definitely the way to go. But we're gonna set up a wireless connection right here. It's gonna scan for local networks. Choose your network from the list of networks, enter your password information and select connect. Now it's checking the connection. We are connected to our network and we have internet and we're prompted to update our software. We'll select OK, and now it's gonna work on the update. Software update was really quick for us, I think about one minute. That'll vary though, depending on your internet speeds. So we'll select continue. Now we need to enter our email address to finish setup on our mobile device or computer. After your email's entered, you'll have this prompt to activate your Roku player, so check your inbox. So here's the email we received from Roku. We're gonna select the activate device button and we're gonna open with Chrome. And now we're taken to our setup screen where we can name our device. We have to select a location, agree to their terms of service, then you can select continue. Next, we have the option to add a payment method. Please do not fall for any activation scams. You never have to pay to activate or set up your Roku devices, whether it's a TV or a streaming stick or device like the Ultra here. This is just so if you want to purchase or rent movies from your TV or sign up for you know free trials, subscription services, things like that, you can enter a credit card, your PayPal or Apple Pay, but I want you to know you do not have to enter anything. Just keep scrolling down here to the bottom and you can select skip this step. We can enter payment methods later on, once your TV's set up. Next, since we already have a Roku account and previous devices, that carries over right here. We'll still install your previous channels, so you can answer some questions and look for new channels if you want. In our case, we're gonna select skip, and then it's gonna work on installing all of our channels. We don't need to go look at anything else, but if you want to, we still have some additional offers here and channels to download. But we're just gonna scroll to the bottom. Again, there's lots of stuff here and we're just gonna hit continue. And now you'll notice on our TV, it's updating our 54 channels. And we have some free trial prompts here. We're gonna skip through all those as well. Hit continue. 
and setup is complete. We now have a prompt. If we want to install the Roku mobile app, which is great for your iOS or Android device, you can use it as a remote control right from your phone. And we have our tips and tricks as well as how to use AirPlay. But that's it. Everything's done on our mobile device. And now we just wait for the TV to update. There we go. Everything's done. We'll hit OK. And now we have a little welcome video. Streaming. Here's a quick tour of your new Roku player. We'll start with your remote. Press home at any time to return to the home screen. Back always returns to the previous screen. And star shows additional options. Press this button while streaming to see the options menu. Press and hold the mic button on voice remotes or the free Roku mobile app to search for entertainment, control your streaming, and more. Now let's check out your home menu. Visit streaming channels to find your favorites and discover new ones. Search to see where to stream things for free or at the lowest cost. Feature free for quick access to free TV. And be sure to check out the Roku channel for more free live and premium entertainment. For more information and other cool features, visit the tips and tricks channel on your home screen. And that's it. Happy streaming. So that's a nice video just finished up. Now we're at our home screen and everything has successfully been set up. From the home screen, you're free to navigate all of your installed streaming apps and tiles. You can reposition them however you want. You could remove them. You can add additional channels. You can manage everything right here. And from this side menu, where we have a lot of great options to find free content to watch, as well as content available for purchase, live TV, search by sports and events happening now or upcoming. We have a nice search section if you're looking for movies, TV shows, that sort of thing. Streaming channels, basically your app store. And then we have all of our device specific settings right here. If there's anything you want to fine tune from network to remotes and devices, theme, display type, accessibility, audio, home screen. If you want to add a payment method, Apple AirPlay and HomeKit, legal notices, privacy, help. And then we have some additional system settings here with some advanced options like a full reset. We can view USB media settings, control other devices, language, screen mirroring, updating the software, power settings, guest mode for you Airbnbers out there, and our advanced system settings for all of our reset options. So that's it guys, that's how you set up your Roku Ultra. Very simple and straightforward and easy to do.